and this is something that uh, I think, you know, we can maybe has some episodic um, connection to what's going on right now with the economy. But I actually think this is a problem that could surface again and again and again. It's not something that's going to go away. Your I mean, the way you going down. The way I think about it is the the average, um, you know, benefit that a patient got 50 years ago is pretty much the same that they're getting today, even though the cost of living has gone up so much in those 50 years, right? Well, I mean, right. thousand dollars. Uh, when, when plans were created in 1968, um, the average annual award was a thousand dollars. That's how much benefit you'd get every year, a thousand dollars. And let's look at that. Let's break that down. In 1960, let's just use a common fee in mental office as a crown. Um, you know, a, a, the average fee for a crown in 1968 was $150. Now, that'll sound absurd to anyone listening to this in, in 2022 or 2023, but that's what it was. And crowns are typically covered at 50%. So that meant that the patient would pay $75 and, and the insurance company would pay $75 for that crown because it's covered at 50%. So how many crowns could you get? with your $1,000 annual award? 13, 14? It's right between 13 and 14. Yeah. And now 13, 13 to 14 crowns is not full mouth reconstruction, but that's a fair amount of dentistry to be done under one year's benefit. Yes. And if you coordinated it so that maybe you were doing some of the work at the end of the year in 1968, and then let's say they had a calendar year end, and then 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 you did some of the work in the beginning of, of uh, 1969, then in two years worth of benefits, you could essentially have your entire mouth restored. Yes. Right? Now, now there are many plans that still have a $1,000 annual award, <laughs> the same as it was in 1968. Now, to be fair, um, the plans have the expense. Sometimes it's 1250 sometimes it's even 1500 But I rarely see an annual benefit more than 1500 Naren, I'm going to ask you to do this while while we're recording. Um, show me what a um, thousand dollars in 1968 dollars is worth in 2022. A thousand dollars in 1968 dollars is worth in 2022. And Naren's going to come back and and tell us what that number is. Uh, while he's doing that, I'll keep talking so that you know. Typically, um, you know, I got the answer, Gary. All right, tell me what it is. It's eight thousand five hundred and ten dollars. So that same thousand dollar benefit in today's dollars should be eight thousand five hundred and ten dollars. Now, how many plans have we seen that have an eight thousand five hundred and ten dollar annual award? Here, let me look it up. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Yes. So where did all the money go? It went into the pockets of the insurance of executives. The executives is where yes. the money went. So let's use that $1,500. $1,500 I mean, is generous for an annual, all right, $1,500. Now let's look at it. Um, what does that cover? Remember, we, we agreed that it covers 13, let's call it 13 crowns in, in 1960. What does it cover now? One crown, right. as long as it doesn't need a, a root canal. <laughs> root canal, then we're out of luck. What's wrong with this picture? The yeah, I mean, it's just... The they don't care the about the patients. They don't care about the dentist. The only thing they care about is how do I line the pockets of the executives running the running the organization? Yeah, that's it. That's it. It's it, really there is a one word explanation for all of this. And yeah. uh, I hate to be the bearer of, 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 of negative news here. But the one word explanation is greed is greed. Now, you know, we can we can raise our blood pressure up all we want about talking about this. Or you could, you could take some action. And the action that you need to take is you need to get back in control of your fees. Um, so you're no longer affected. You're no longer impacted when the company says, hey, we want to buy Delta again, but we want lower premiums. You're no longer affected. That can happen all you want, but it doesn't affect us. You know, it doesn't affect us. Uh, and the way you do that is you successfully resign from PPO plans. And that's, the, I mean, I know I'm, I'm, explaining it in a simplistic way, but that is the answer. And there is a grassroots movement of dentists doing this. You know, I had a conversation uh, the other day uh, with a, a newer client of ours on the coaching side. Uh, and she said, Gary, you know what one of the benefits is going to be? We're, we're, we're going to be working with you to you know, reduce our insurance dependence. You know what one of the benefits are? Um, there are many, many, many dentists around this that are doing this. 
around us. Right. Uh, and there's always going to be some that will be uh, participating, but that number is getting fewer. And, and many of them are, are really just, you know, some of the worst clinics around where, you know, it's, it's every time you go, you're going to see a different dentist and you're going to see a different team. It's a whole different level of dentistry. You know, I think one of the biggest issues with uh, PPO plans is the way they have commoditized dentistry. That what you do, doctor, is the same as everyone else. Right. And that simply is, you know, a crown is a crown is a crown is a crown. And that's how it is. There, Gary, there's no room for differentiation. So, Gary, I get to, you know, watch some of your clients because I get to attend uh, some of these events. And one of the questions I think we are getting more of is, hey, I have... 80% of my patients who are PPO patients, which means I'm getting 55 cents on the dollar, let's say. So I do, you know, hundred thousand dollars worth of dentistry. I only get paid $55,000. So instead of dealing with the staff shortage by hiring more staff for 30% more money, what if I take care of the people I have better and start dropping these plans that are paying me the least amount of money? Because now I get to see fewer patients with a fewer, smaller team, but I get to keep a lot more of the money that I, 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 I'm producing. Yeah, really, you're getting off the hamster wheel. Exactly. And why, if you're saying, well, Gary, I don't even know if I can fill these open positions in, in my practice. We're, we're not having any success filling it. Right. So why, why do I want to make that hamster wheel spin around even faster? Right. Um, so, newsflash. PPO plans are cutting your fees. And the best strategy uh, is to go on a dedicated path, a preparation to successfully drop PPO plans.